Hello and welcome. Today's tutorial will be on the IC2 wind turbine for 1.10.2. So, the machines you're going to need is the wind turbine of course, plus the kinetic generator. You're going to need the kinetic generator to get the power from the wind turbine. So, if I just show you some of the recipes first, you're going to need a iron shaft, two of them, plus a basic machine case to get the wind turbine. You're also going to need to make two wind turbines because you need one wind turbine here plus six iron item casings plus an electric motor plus another iron shaft to get the kinetic generator. So blades, rotor blades for this, you can get multiple types. The types you can get is wooden, iron, steel and carbon. Just note these three you will need a iron shaft and for the carbon one you will need a steel shaft so if we grab out oh look we've already got them here sweet so the first one I'll be showing you is 25 blocks high as you can see we're going to try power this recycler and we're going to try power this MFSU which has no power so if we head up the top now as you know they need to be placed quite a long way up so this is 25 blocks high so this is the kinetic generator. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to place it down just like so. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your wooden, as you can see it's spinning. As you can see we have no power so what you're going to need to do is shift right click and now you see that arrow, the symbol for power and now if we go into it, there you go, we are getting a truck ton of power. So, just another note, we grab this MFE, if we place this guy down, and now if we try and place some copper, there it explodes. You see, you cannot use copper cable from this guy to an MFE, bat box, MFE, MFSU, yeah? So, what? You can use tin from my memory, but I'm going to use fiberglass. Fiberglass will definitely work. There you go, if we have a trick. There we go, we're trucking up the power. So, that's how you do that lot. And as you can see, we are producing 41 pieces of power at 97% health. So not too shabby. Now if we go up again to the next one, this is about 50 blocks high in the air. As you can see, this time I've placed a MFSU at the back of it. It's all set up just like I showed you down below. And now if we place this iron guy in, off it goes. Look at the speed. There we are. That's a track ton of power. 159 at 99%. And it's sending it straight into this guy. There we go. We already have 40 million. How about that? Okay, so if we jump down quickly, I'll meet you guys down the bottom. Radio, and we're back. And I know that was an epic long journey down. I know it's oh, so much. But as you can see, there is a cool other way you can actually charge this. Go away, horse. But there's a cool, as you can see, I've got this ender chest. It's hooked up with some filters in here. This has a just a few about batteries, so you can use some batteries. So what we can do is if we grab all these batteries out, and if we chuck some of this that we don't need away, grab the batteries. And last but not least, why don't we grab this carbon fiber? So now if I'll meet you guys back up there. Radio, as you can see, I've hooked this up with the same sort of system into this MFSU which is a sort of like a buffer acting as so you've got two buffers sort of thing you've got the main thing here and then you've got another buffer here so now what should happen if we chuck all these guys in here they should all be getting powered up rightio so if we head all the way down this is a long way down they should build some elevators or something this should be charging we have a look at here, not that one, sorry, in the ender chest, nope. Okay, 
but the whole principle was to get them batteries going from there to here and charge this guy right, as you can see it's still not working oh so we got a little bit but it hasn't even powered it up so what you'll probably need to do is play around with the, the pipes so separate it not directly next to an MFSU because I think it might blow up and you might just need to have maybe two batteries in here so they circle around and you can use the bigger ones I just think I've got it set up slightly wrong I apologize for that so if I quickly head up to the top just one last time rightio we are now 75 blocks up from the ground and now if we chuck this bad boy in here there you go he's spinning and he is creating quite a nice amount of power don't you think 469 fantastic so carbon fiber is probably the way to go but they are expensive so if we head all the way down yeah boing so just some notes the rain will give your wind turbine a 20 cent boost in power and a stormy weather will give it a 50 percent boost in power the roller blades in Minecraft hours will last, the wooden ones will last 3 hours, the iron ones will last 24 hours, and the steel ones will last 72 hours. And yes, of course, the carbon ones will last even longer. The wind speed varies at different heights, as you've just seen. So I hope this has helped you in some way. Until next time, sit tight.